Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. Today I am doing this eye look and lip look using these products from the Beauty Bakery. So I'm super excited to be able to give you this tutorial and review because I had never heard of the Beauty Bakery until I came across them on a beauty channel on Facebook. So for the lady that recommended the Beauty Bakery, thank you so much. So the Beauty Bakery, when you get your item shipped to you, it comes in this adorable box that looks just like it should be holding a bunch of cupcakes. It says, watch me whip it. So in your box will come the different products you ordered. For me, I ordered two eyeliners, one in a cream white, and this color is called Marshmallow Gelato. The second eyeliner is called Belgian Biscotti. These colors are absolutely adorable. Um, I prefer cream eyeliners overall, so to get these, I was absolutely excited to try them, and I really do like them. I've used the Belgian Biscotti a few times over the last couple weeks, and it seems to last, it doesn't crease, it doesn't travel like some of the other eyeliners. So I do really like their cream eyeliners. Now today, I got way outside of my comfort zone. I have no lies to tell and I was scared and you'll see this in, that video, in this video. So I use three cream eyeshadows. I have never used a cream eyeshadow. Usually in the past I've done a base from MAC, the MAC Painterly Paint Pots. So anyways, I was accustomed to MACs and um, so to use these, I wasn't quite sure what to do because the MAC Painterly Paint Pot is just for a base, not actually an eyeshadow. Um, collab so you'll get to see my initial reactions for using these the colors are beautiful they blend well they are stunning as far as the colors go I would definitely highly recommend checking out the beauty bakery I'm not sure who the artist is or the maker is for their products but I have been absolutely pleasantly surprised with the product now when I tried the lippy in the video I said I was going to do a review after it dried down so when I put on the lippy at first and it's called a lip whip again how precious um, the lip whip went on really nice, really easy, and then at the moment was tacky. So in the video I said I would tell you what that did. And it dried down really nice. Um, it is not too dry where some of the, the lippies will get super dry on your lips, but it's not amazingly tacky either. It's somewhere in between. And the color does not transfer. Huge importance for me. Um, I love lipsticks that stay on and that don't transfer because if you know me, you know me well that I do not like to put on makeup throughout the day. I want it to be everlasting. So this Lip Whip gives a high 9 on a scale of 1 to 10. In fact, I am going to be purchasing more of these to try these out to see if I just got like the total stunner of all the Lip Whips. Or is this the regular formulation that happens in all the lippies? So um, if you haven't had a chance to check out Beauty Bakery, I would highly recommend checking out this product line. It is definitely worth it. Now let's get into the tutorial. Let's get started with today's Beauty Bakery review and tutorial. I've already prepped and primed my face using the Maybelline Master Prime, MAC as my blush, Tarte as my foundation, and Makeup Geek Kathleen Lights palette. So now we're ready to try the Beauty Bakery for the first time. I wasn't going to use a lip pencil, but that seemed a little odd for me, so I'm going to use a Wet n Wild lip pencil. This lip pencil is in brand new wine. Beauty Bakery 
and it is called Fortune Cookie Lift Whip. How cute is that? really smooth. We'll see how this dries down. As of right now, I love the color. Um, the texture feels good, so we'll see how matte it gets or if it stays a little on the tacky side. Beauty Bakery has some eye creams, and I purchased them in a couple different purple-ish colors. One is called Sugar Coated Eye Cream. And the next is called Frosted Plums. I'm not familiar with using eye cream, so this could be a hot mess. Wish me luck. I'm not even sure what brush to use with an eye cream. So we are going to try a short domed small brush, and this is a Morphe 321. We'll get to start out with the Frosted Plums. A little nervous. I've never used eye cream unless they were a base. Okay, they're going on really pigmented, and you can tell I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not sure how to bleed these out. I'm a little concerned. Just a little concerned. I've come to a crossing on the road. Should I add a different color and try to blend, or do I blend this? Let's just add another color. All right, so I got another dome brush. This one's from the Makeup Geek. It's a defined crease brush. And I'm gonna go in with the sugar coated. that in the crease. I think this one's a little less scary for me since it's a lighter color. Ooh. Okay. Just taking a regular dumb brush. This one has no name. That actually blended out kind of nice. Totally not what I was expecting. I was so, so worried. And it blended really, really nice. All right, so we're gonna try the other eye. Not at all what I expected. At first I thought they could be easy to use. Then when I applied them, I thought, oh my gosh, I've gotten in way over my head. And then now that I've blended them out with a regular brush, I am beyond pleasantly surprised. So this is going great. I did get a little bit of a color called Sherbert, Sherbert Bar. Thought that was a cute name. Actually, all these names are absolutely adorable. This time I'm going to use a flat brush. And I'm going to go ahead and apply it on my eyelid. Cut crease ladies out there or trying to learn a cut crease, I think I would recommend this as a nice way to carve out your cut crease. It goes on much smoother than Max Painterly Paint Pot, which in an earlier video I tried to cut out my cut crease with the Painterly Paint Pot, and it's the Painterly Paint Pot is drier. 
and pulled more on my eye. So ladies, if you're doing a cut crease, I highly recommend the Beauty Bakery. Really liking these cream eye, um, eyeshadows. This is such a joy. I wish I would have ordered more, but I was afraid. Now that I've got that in its spot, I'm gonna take um, the Nude Road Palette, palette from B&H Cosmetics, and I'm gonna pop in their number two as my eyebrow color. And I'll take the earlier blending brush that I used with the purples on it and smooth out that harsh line. Beauty Bakery also has some eyeliners, so I'm going to use this white on the inner waterline, and this one's called Marshmallow Gelato. I'm telling you, the names are adorable, and the product seems to be working. So we have a nice crisp white waterline. I went with the Belgian Biscotti Gelato and this is a dark purple and that's what we're going to use as the eyeliner today. Cream eyeliner goes on very nice, and I prefer cream and gel liners. They just stay better on me. Now that I'm feeling kind of brave, we're going to use some more of this sugar-coated eye cream. about this makeup line that I just came across. All right, time to do the falsies. The Lash Sensational underneath the eyes. I get mascara everywhere. Then with the Charlotte Tillsbury Legendary Lashes, I'll just put a coat or two on my own lashes. completes our look from the Beauty Bakery. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you for joining me today as I used some new products and really got outside of my comfort zone with cream eyeshadow. I do appreciate you following along with me. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, I would appreciate if you considered subscribing or send me to a friend. I do appreciate all the time that you've spent with me as there are other lovely artists out there who do amazing work. So the fact that you spent today with me means a lot to me. Thank you again so much and make it a beautiful day.